So you've just picked up Sea of Thieves and you've dug up a few chests, sail around for a little bit, and uh, got sunk by a sweaty pirate legend that has nothing better to do. We've all been there. And you're like, hey, how do I get better at this game? Well, you're in luck, because today I will go over just that. The top 5 useful tips for a new player like you to sail the seas like a pro. What's up guys, Blue Like a Rock here, and welcome to yet another Sea of Thieves guide. Today we'll be going over the best advice I can give to anyone who's wanting to try this game out for the very first time. Sea of Thieves has a ton of content in the two years that it's been launched, so even veterans that have had the game since day one like me are finding a lot of new things to do when they get back into it. So let's kick off this list with one of the most important skills anyone can learn on the seas, and that is the trusty sword lunge. Sword lunging is the attack your pirate does when you hold down the main attack button, whether it's left click on PC or RT on Xbox. It allows you to charge up your attack and charge forward, dealing double damage of a normal sword swing and lets you charge forward at enemies and allow you to hit them from a farther range. It can even be used to help your pirate traverse the world better. One downside to the traditional sword lunge, however, is that whenever you finish the action, your pirate will be frozen for exactly two seconds before you're able to move again. So make sure you won't get smacked in the back with a blunderbuss before you commit to that sword lunge. Now you would think this would be the end of the tip, right? But what if I told you that the sword lunge can be much more useful than just a simple button press? This is what I like to call the advanced sword lunge. To perform the advanced sword lunge, simply press the block button before you hold down the attack, allowing you to strafe a little bit before the attack windup is completed. But most importantly, jump while performing the lunge. Now this sounds a little complicated, but let me put it simply. To do this, block, hold down the attack button, and right as you hear this sound, jump. And that will allow you to travel significantly farther than a normal sword lunge attack. This is how far you would go with a normal sword lunge, and this is how far you would go with an advanced sword lunge with a jump. So that's pretty much like double the amount of distance you can travel. With some practice, it will allow you to make some pretty cool plays and surprise that veteran pirate who thinks you're just some ordinary new player. lanterns. As pretty as they are, they act as literal beacons on the seas. They're basically just saying, hey, look at my ship! Come sink it! To prevent this, do what I like to call a lantern run at the beginning of your voyage. Run around your ship and turn off every lantern on the top deck. The bottom deck ones can stay on to check for tuckers and to, uh, you know, be able to see. Once those lanterns are off, you'll be invisible! Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Get that three out of here. Get, go, get out of here. Just make sure to remember that your ship will still be visible to others on the horizon. So don't think any nobody will go after you. It's just a good habit to have before setting sail on your next voyage to turn off all the lanterns on your ship. Next, let's talk about leveling. In Sea of Thieves, there are currently six different factions you can level up. The Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, the Merchant Alliance, Hunter's Call, Sea Dogs, and the Reaper's Bones. Each of these factions ask you to do something different to level each of them up. So, you may be asking me, how do I get to Pirate Legend fast? What are the best factions to level up to get to Pirate Legend? As different as those questions are, I actually have the answer to both. The best way to get to Pirate Legend is to level up the three main factions that were introduced into the game at launch, Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, and Merchant Alliance. Each one teaches you the three main parts of getting good at this game. Gold Hoarders teaches you how to read maps and traverse each island, the Order of Souls teaches you how to kill things, and the Merchant Alliance teaches you how to traverse the world as efficiently as possible, saving time in future voyages because, believe me, Future voyages, hint hint Athena's, 
are much more than one measly little map with one X in the corner of the island. So I've heard people saying that leveling up Reaper's Bones or Sea Dogs is the best way to go. And to that, I say try not to do that if possible. Firstly, those two factions are focused entirely around PvP, which is a good skill to learn because the best players out there are PvP gods. But learning to walk before to run is the best way to go. So in this case, learning how to master PvP while leveling up those three factions is a great way to start out the game. The original three factions are what I would like to call active factions. These are ones you go out and buy missions for. Hunter's Call, Sea Dogs, and Reaper's Bones are passive factions. They can be done while you're doing Order of Souls, Gold Hoarders, all those voyages. Now, if you decide, you know what, merchants suck, and move on to Reapers instead, go for it. These tips are merely just suggestions, and you know what, let me know in the comments what three factions you decide to level up to get to Pirate Legend. Because in a sandbox game like this, there's not one specific way to get to Pirate Legend. Don't rush to get to Pirate Legend. I cannot stress this point enough. The only reward waiting for you is an ugly purple ship and the glow stick set. <laughs> The ghost ship is actually pretty cool looking. Some of that legendary stuff though. Ugh. But I digress. The ultimate goal of getting to Pirate Legend is not about the end result, but the journey you take to get there. I've been playing the game since day one and took around a year off of the game once around Shrouded Spoils came out. So unfortunately, this means I missed out on getting that sweet, sweet golden legendary set for getting Pirate Legend in year one. But when I eventually made it to Pirate Legend myself, I got, you know, got everyone's favorite purple coat, uh, did my first Athena voyage. I found myself wondering, what should I do now? Because getting access to the glow stick set and a few other things, there's no point in getting to Pirate Legend after only playing for a week. So make sure you take your time and enjoy the ride. Sea of Thieves is not about getting to Pirate Legend as fast as you can, for most people. Some players it is. Who knows, maybe it's their second account and they just want to get up there to get that legendary Sea Dog for the 80th time. Who knows? But Sea of Thieves is really about exploring uncharted islands, digging up treasure, and stealing people's stuff. Ah, oh, great, I forgot to talk about stealing! Sea of Thieves is a pirate game. What most people forget is this word right here in the title. The thief part. When you're starting out, you may not know how to react when an experienced player swoops by and drops a keg on your ship. And that's okay, it's all a part of learning. There are a ton of things to consider when fighting another ship. Are they going against the wind? Are they gonna drop borders on you? Are they gonna drop a keg on you? And the best thing you can do in these situations is to stay calm and try your best. And if you lose, that's okay. Because remember these things. One, you will get your loot stolen. Two, your ship will get sunk. But the most important thing is to remember that it's just a game and there's no real reason to get really toxic. The community's already toxic enough as it is and you can help me and some other content creators to make the seas less salty. Now, if you guys want me to make some more advanced guides going over the game's specific mechanics, and you would like to know uh, how to steal people's loot better, or something like that, please give this video a like and consider subscribing if you like my content. I upload weekly videos and stream over on my Twitch channel whenever I can. We mostly play Sea of Thieves over there, along with my community discord events that happen every so often. We play Among Us or we play Jackbox or something like that. And I would love to see you guys there. Now before I take up any more of your time, I'll go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you out on the seas.